one of the practices in our meditation toolkit is metta bhavana, the cultivation of loving kindness, goodwill. There's there's many different sets of phrases that one can use. I've always appreciated the ones from just from our chanting book. May I abide in well-being. May I abide in freedom from hostility. May I abide in freedom from ill will. May I abide in freedom from anxiety. May I abide and may I maintain well-being in myself. May everyone abide in well-being. May we abide in freedom from hostility. May we abide in freedom from ill will. May we abide in freedom from anxiety. And may we maintain well-being in ourselves. What I appreciate about those is particularly freedom from ill will, freedom from hostility, and freedom from anxiety. These are, these are not just sort of direct sources of happiness, the way you, know, you can wish, may I get what I want? You know, and true, when we get what we want, we're happy. But sometimes it's not, sometimes what we want isn't good for us. And what we want is always temporary. So that's never, that's never totally fulfilling. But freedom from, freedom from hostility, freedom from ill will, and freedom from anxiety are, I mean, they feel good now. And they're very useful into the future. They're also, they're also the fruits of spiritual practice. And similarly, it's, yeah, if there's someone that you're having difficulty with, and it sometimes can be, it sometimes can be a challenge to wish, may he or she get what she, he or she wants. You know, that can, that can sometimes stretch the heart a bit. Um, we can be jealous. But if someone is, if, but if there's a difficult person in our life, it's easy, you know, May he or she be free from hostility, free from ill will, free from anxiety. Once you start contemplating the effects of that, it's actually pretty easy to get the heart to go in that direction. Because if the person were free from ill will, hostility, and anxiety, um, well, we'd probably be happier too. So, that, though, I've always... I've always appreciated those in particular, but whatever, whatever phrases or whatever methods of cultivating metta work for you, it's important. And yeah, the Buddha listed the benefits of metta as one, one sleeps well, one awakens happily, one has no bad dreams, one is pleasing to human beings, one is pleasing to devas. Um, the devas protect one. one, is free from what fire, weapons, and poison do not harm one, one's mind is easily concentrated, one's facial complexion is serene, one dies unconfused, and if one penetrates no further, one bears on to the Brahma world. Very, very good things. So I leave that for your reflection. <laughs>